Alright, so this little video is to show you how to read uh, UTM coordinates off of a map and plug them into a Garmin GPS and then go to those coordinates. I can also show you how to plot coordinates on a map that you might see on your GPS. So if you, or even a dog, uh, you want to know where exactly they are on the map, you can reverse plot them and uh, it will tell you or show you exactly where on the map that dog or yourself is. Um, before we go into UTM coordinates there's a couple of things we need to do on our GPS first. All right, um, These GPS's default to the lat long system so we need to go in there and change that to the UTM system and that would be under units and the top uh, one there called position format we need to change to UTM slash UPS clear at the bottom here UTM slash UPS right there so I'm going to hit enter and that's going to change it to UTM UPS the second thing we need to do is change our datum and that's the second category there under uh, unit setup and we need to change that datum to NAD27. It's going to default to this WGS84 and this is a newer datum than most maps are drawn to. Most maps are drawn to a NAD27 datum. So we're going to go in there and change that. And it will be under N. Put the zip down through here. Alright, now you can see that there are a bunch of different NAD27 datums. We want CONUS right there, which is NAD27, CONUS, and that stands for North American Datum, 1927, Continental U.S. Alright, so I've selected those two things. So now our GPS is set to go. Uh, whenever you're taking coordinates, it is very important that you match the datum of the map with your GPS or you'll be off up to a few hundred meters sometimes uh, and any map will tell you what the datum is if you look on this uh, USGS quad map right here it says 1927 North American datum alright and on this little map here that I printed off my computer you can see there at the top of uh, it printed the datum there on that map so now I know which datum I'm using and I have matched it to my GPS Alright, so the UTM system is much, much easier to use than the, the old lat long system. And as a matter of fact, uh, virtually every ground military force in the world adopted the UTM system after about 1947. And it's basically just an XY coordinate system. Alright, we come down so far and across so far, much like your street guide is in the back of your phone book. Alright, so to find coordinates, so basically the UTM system uh, covered the entire Earth with 1,000 meter squares. All right, And virtually every square meter has its own coordinate. It makes it pretty simple. All right, So UTM coordinates are written with uh, easting first and then a northing. All right, and when you're entering them into GPS's you always have to have seven numbers. All right. And basically, if you remember this little phrase, read right up. All right. That's going to tell you how to read your coordinates. So we're always going to read to the right first. That's going to give us our easting. And then we're going to read up. That also means that our numbers get bigger from west to east. Our numbers get bigger from south to north. All right, so some of these we can just eyeball. If you look here, this is 310,000 meters east. And basically all that means is that this grid line is 310,000 meters east of my zone 12 meridian. And zones are basically just different sections of UTM grids. And it will tell you again the zone that you are in right here on your map or on this USGS quad map as you can see right there 
it tells you zone 12 so I know I'm in zone 12 and you don't have to worry about this too much because your GPS will tell you exactly what zone you're in and it's only a concern if you're entering coordinates uh, that are way far away from where you are currently so don't worry about zone too much it'll be part of your coordinates though and it'll show up as the first three symbols in your coordinates all right so if I was to read the coordinates for this yellow flag here all right we'll start easy I know that this is my three one zero 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 meters east line and I am right on that line all right and that is my easting and you always read eastings first all right and this is my five one one nine zero 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 line and this means basically means that I am five five million one hundred nineteen thousand meters north of the equator all right so the coordinates the UTM coordinates for this yellow flag would be written just like this now remember you have to enter seven numbers when you're entering them into a GPS so I would have to put a zero in front of that and it would be zero three one zero 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 easting and five one one nine zero 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 northing eastings first then northings I read right first and then I read up okay so let's try a couple more some of these like I said we can just eyeball all right here the blue flag let's try that one all right we're gonna read to the right first all right so from my 310,000 meters east line I can see that I'm approximately halfway between 310,000 meters east and 311,000 meters east all right that's going to be about 310,500 meters all right so that would be written my easting would be written like this 310,500 east or my easting all right and here again my northing didn't change from this yellow flag so my northing again is 5119000 okay let's uh, do another one let's try this red flag here again we can kind of eyeball this one it is in the center of this UTM grid alright so we're gonna read right first I would say my easting is 3111 311 500 meters east I'm 500 meters east of this line and my northing here again is 5119 and approximately 500 meters north so my coordinate would read 0311500 east 5119500 north all right now some of these points aren't going to be so easy to eyeball for example this green flag right here all right let's get the coordinates for that all right so we know that we are east of this 311 line and uh, if I know that, I'll write my 311 first, all right, and then I'll figure out how many meters across I am. And to do that, I'm just going to go down to my scale bar here at the very bottom, and I'm going to make a scale that is equal to one kilometer. So here I've just uh, made 10 little hash marks, and that represents 100 meters each, and I even went so far as to put even 50 meter increments between those. So I can round that to the nearest 50 meters, and I would say that that is plenty accurate enough. All right, so let's go back up here to our green flag. All right, and I know that I st I'm going to start with a 311 in my coordinate. All right, and then I'm going to use my little scale bar that I made. And I am about 800 meters east of that 311 line. So my coordinate that I would write would be 311. 800 east and I always know that I have to enter seven numbers if I put it into a GPS so I'd have to put a zero first all right now my northing I know that I'm north of this 5118 line all right here again I'm going to use my little scale and I know that I am about 600 meters north of that 5118 line so my coordinate for that would be 5118600 north. Now this one's a little bit tricky here. We'll do this purple flag. 
my coordinates for the purple flag would be 309,800. And what I did there is I 310,000 meter line, all right, and I subtracted 200 meters. And that got me at the 309,800 easting coordinate. All right, and my northing, pretty simple. I just went 300 meters up from this 5118 line. All right. So, pretty simple on how to take coordinates. If you want to get more accurate, just make yourself a little scale bar off of your kilometer scale down here at the bottom of the map, right there. And that represents a thousand meters or one kilometer, and it breaks it down into hundred meter increments. And like I said, I actually, actually added fifty meter increments to even make it a little more accurate. All right, let's try one more thing. Let's say we see these coordinates on our map. All right, and I want to know exactly where I am on my map. All right, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go off my 311 line and I'm going to go over 400 meters and make a little mark. All right, and then I'm going to go to my 5117 line, which is down here. And I know that I am 150 meters north of that. All right, so I'm going to make a little tick at 150. All right, so from there, I'm going to fold my map up just like that. And I'm going to fold the side in to match. this tick right there and where those two intersect right there and I'll make a little dot is where I am on my map so I'm right there or it might be a dog or who knows all right so we can use this for a number of things you know if we're out hunting elk and we like the looks of this little ridge all right and we want to go scout it out we can take the coordinates off this ridge mark it as a waypoint and hit go to and it'll take us there so the last thing I want to show you real quick all right is how to enter coordinates into your GPS and it's pretty simple with these garments we're just gonna hit mark all right we'll hit new it's a new coordinate all right we'll call it 002 which is just a default setting all right and we're going to highlight those coordinates and change them to the one we want. So uh, those coordinates right now are showing us where we are right now. We don't want to mark where we are right now. All right, perhaps we want to uh, go to where uh, we took the coordinates for that yellow flag. So we could enter these coordinates just by highlighting that. All right, you can hit enter and then just change the coordinates individually. When you're done, hit OK. Go down there and hit OK, and then uh, that will be stored as a waypoint, and you can just go to it. All right. So in summary, you need to change a couple of GPS settings. You need to change your lat longs to UTM slash UPS, and you need to make sure that your datum of the map matches the datum in your GPS. Most all maps are drawn to a NAD27 datum, and your GPS's will default to a different one, a WGS84, and that's a much newer datum that most maps have not been drawn to yet. All right, um, not all maps have these UTM grids drawn on them. All right, but if they don't, they will have tick marks at the top, here and here, and here and here, and here and here, and, and on the bottom. And you could just go ahead and draw them in with a ruler. Um, map machines or map programs, it's typically an option as to whether you want to print UTM lines on your map or not. Okay, and then just remember the simple phrase, read right up. So we're going to read our eastings first and then our northings. And lastly, we need to remember that we always enter seven numbers into a GPS. So if you only have a six digit easting, you would have to put a zero in front of that. All right. 
The last thing I wanted to mention is if you're ever doing any search and rescue type stuff and, or anytime you're uh, uh, wanting to convert between lat longs and UTM, uh, if you just go into your GPS and change that position format back to lat longs, it will automatically convert all of your waypoints that were stored as UTM coordinates to lat long coordinates and vice versa. So if you have coordinates in your GPS now and you go and change your position format to UTM, all those positions, all those waypoints will, uh, the new coordinates will be in UTM format.